Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. Welcome to the Class Adder tutorial series. In use case three, we're going to do something fun. We're gonna do something interesting. We are changing a background image on hover of a different element. This is probably not something you would just copy paste right into your site. It's more for an educational overview of what you can do here, which is not possible inside Webflow Interactions. Here we have our Mona and we have our Lisa. And when I hover over Mona, we see Mona on the top. When I hover over the bottom, we see Lisa on the bottom. So this is changing this graphic up here based on what I'm hovering over. Again, not something you would copy paste to your site, but a good learning experience to see what you can do with Class Adder. Okay, let's go through the steps. Let's go through the classes and see how this works. When I hover over the image trigger top, which is this Mona text, image trigger top, it's going to add the class Mona Lisa top to image top. So I'll go here, image top. And when I hover over Mona, it will add Mona Lisa top. There we go. And when I hover out, of this image top trigger, image trigger top, it will remove this class Mona Lisa top from image top. So hovering on and off of Mona is going to do this. It's going to add and remove this class. Great. And then we do this same exact thing on the other side with Lisa. We are going to hover over the image trigger bottom. We're going to add the class Mona Lisa bottom to image top. That should be image bottom. So we're going to add that class to image bottom. And also the exact inverse is the same where we hover out of image trigger bottom and then we're going to remove that class. So let's see that working. We have our image bottom and we have our Mona Lisa bottom. So we are adding and removing this class like this. And again, just to preview, we have this working like this. And I could just hover off the top, I could just hover on the bottom, or back and forth. Cool, all right, let's go and build this inside Class Adder. On hover over the image trigger top, we're going to add the class Mona Lisa top to image top. So let's go to trigger our image trigger top and on hover, we're going to create a new pair for hover in and we'll create a new pair for hover out. So on hover in, our target is going to be our image top. That's the class that will have a class added to it. And we will go and copy this. This is our target. And it's also going to be our target for hover out. It's the same thing. We are always using image top when we're hovering over this Mona. And now we're going to add this class Mona Lisa top. And the same thing, Mona Lisa top down here, when we hover on and off, we are working with the same exact classes. We're just adding and removing. So let's go back to our class adder. We're going to add class, add class. Now, we have to change one thing and it's adding class versus removing class. So when I hover on this, we want this class to be added. When I hover out of this, we want this class to be removed. Great, that's it, we did it. Now, we have the left side done, we're going to go to the right side. So we'll add a whole new trigger in here. And the second trigger, is going to be on hover over image trigger bottom. I'll copy this image trigger bottom. And when we hover in, we're going to create a new pair as well as when we hover out, we'll create a new pair. And the class we're looking for is the Mona Lisa bottom. Great. Uh, that is the class we're adding. So we're adding this Mona Lisa bottom to both of these and 
we're targeting or we the the element that will have a class added to it is the image bottom. So we have image bottom, image bottom. Great. All set up except for the add and remove. So when we hover in on this image trigger bottom, we're going to add this class. And when we hover out, we're going to remove this class. Great. This is the whole thing. We just wrote all of this. We have hover in and hover out hover in and hover out for each of the left and right sides. I'm gonna go show these comments and I'm going to copy the JavaScript and paste it into the build. Now, as I go and test this, it should work exactly as we were seeing in the live preview. Let's go and save this. We will push a publish through and we're going to see this hover effect work by actually adding and removing these classes and changing the background image. Okay, great. So we have Mona, Lisa, Mona, Lisa, great. Working solo, working solo, and together. Perfect, that is exactly what we wanted. This is a good little learning experience, a good tutorial, and if you have questions about it, you have a different use case, let us know. Go to sweetjs.io, we're here to help. That's effing sweet.